Hey everyone, welcome to the Simply Learns YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about the multi-agent systems in artificial intelligence. Ever wondered if you could have a team of AI agents, each an expert in its own role, working together like a perfectly synced orchestra? Imagine one crafting your LinkedIn post, another firing off viral tweets, and a third one writing full-length blog articles. All in parallel, all on board, and all without you lifting more than a simple finger. No kiosks, no copy-paste marathons, just a smooth automated workflow where every AI agent knows its part. Welcome to the world of multi-agent systems, your new productivity superpower. By the end, you won't just understand the multi-agent system in artificial intelligence, but you'll also learn how to lay the foundations to become one. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified whenever we host. Also, just that you know, if you want to upskill yourself, master generative AI and artificial intelligence skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various generative AI courses and certifications. Simply Learn offers various certification programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Purdue, IIT Guwahati and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced Python, machine learning, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top-tier data and product companies and academicans from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an AI and machine learning role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find the program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So the agenda for today's discussion is as follows. First, we will understand what exactly are multi-agent systems through a simple use case. And followed by that, we will get started with the demonstration to build one. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now, let's get started with a simple use case from a social media marketing professional called Ria. So, meet Ria. She is a social media marketing professional juggling three battlegrounds, LinkedIn, Twitter or X, and the company blog. Her calendar is packed. Her tabs are endless. And every post has to hit the right tone at the right time for the right audience. Today, Ria faces a similar problem. Context switching, LinkedIn wants authority and case studies, X demands snappy hooks and trends, and the blog needs depth, SEO, and internal links. Three voices, one brain, and zero time. She starts looking for leverage. Not another AI writer, but a complete ecosystem. That's when she stumbles upon N8N and the idea of multi-agent workflows. Not one giant model trying to do everything, but specialist agents, each mastering a channel coordinated by an orchestrator that flows brand rules, deadlines, and campaign goals. Rhea sets it up. The LinkedIn agent adapts to leadership tone, pulls stats from case studies, adds clean CTAs, and schedules at every weekday PCARs. The X agent or the Twitter agent composes 280 character hooks threads key insights, watches trending hashtags, and runs A-B tests on the first replies. The blog post agent expands the campaign into a 900 to 1200 word post with SEO-aware structure, embeds UTM links, and proposes headlines using SERP intent. Overseeing them all is the orchestrator agent inside N8N. It ingests the brief, the brand book, and campaign KPIs. Route stats enforces voice consistency with a style guide and uses RAG to ground content in approved sources. One flow triggers research, another drafts, and the third one requests human review. And the final step, you just get to publish them. For the first time in months, she isn't drowning in content, she is directing it. Strategy replaces scramble, quality climbs. Kidance stabilizes and the brand sounds like one voice across three different channels. And that's what the tutorial is all about. How to build Ria's multi-agent marketing stack in N810. One agent for LinkedIn, 
one for X or Twitter and one for blogs working together in harmony under a single measurable workflow. Ready to architect it? Let's begin. So with that briefing, let's get on to the quiz question for the day. Suppose in a multi-agent AI system, each agent is typically designed to do what task? So your options are, first one, perform the exact same task to improve redundancy. Second option, handle a specialized task while communicating with other agents. Third option, work in isolation without sharing any data. And the last one, randomly switch between tasks to increase creativity. So which is the correct answer? Please do let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. And with that, let's begin with the demonstration. So here you can see I have three different AI agents. The first one is LinkedIn, second one is Twitter, and the third one is Blog Writer. So here Twitter can be X as well. So I will have a simple Google Sheet here, which has a sample output already, which has been executed. So it will have six different columns. The first one would be about the campaign name, and the second one would be about the content subject that you want to ingest. And the third one is the target audience. Now the post, LinkedIn, Twitter, and blogs. These are the posts that are delivered by the N18 workflow here. So what N18 does is it picks up the campaign name and then it picks up the content subjects based on which it has to create the post or a blog. And then it directs the post or blog to the right audience. That's how it works. Now let's go through the workflow. But before we get started with the workflow, there are some fundamental things that you need to handle with care. So the first one amongst it is, you need to open the OpenAI API section and you need to create a new secret key, just like the one I have created over here. So this one is based on the content creation. So make sure that you don't share your secret key with anyone. And the second one is you need to get registered on Tavili and then create an API key for yourself. So this particular website is designed to help your AI agent get connected to the web. So remember, whenever you provide the context name or the subject and the campaign name and all the target audience, your AI agent should be capable enough to understand what it means and where to target it and how to target it. So in order to do so, you need to have some access or the power to explore the internet. And this is the particular tool that will help you do so right so you just need to register and log in and then create your own api key that will help you do so and after that your next step is about writing the description to your ai agents firstly your linkedin ai agent it needs to understand its task specifications and specific context and also some examples to help your ai agent to understand the format you are targeting to and then lies your next ai agent which is focused on Twitter or X. So here you will write the system rule again. Don't worry, we will leave this particular article or the document in the description box below and it will be completely accessible for you. And the last one is your blog writer. And here you need to specify the grammar and the UTM parameters that you're looking for and all the context and specifications that it needs to target. And once you're done with all these three personality descriptions for your AI agents, you're all good to go on your N18 platform. So in this particular N18 platform, your trigger starts with Google Sheets. So firstly, you need to get connected to your Google Sheets. Let me deactivate it so get, I get the access. Right now, if you double click. Yes, now I have the access to it. Once you get the access to it, here you can see this particular Google Sheet has got the OAuth2 API and this is connected to my email account. And here, if you can see, I have created this particular sheet, right, on the name multi-agents demo. So I need to mention the sheet name over here. So I have a wide range of sheets. So apart from all these sheets, I'll go with the sheet which is linked to this particular workflow. And then the sheet name. If you see here, it is named as sheet one. So you need to provide the sheet one, or you can also rename it with a customized name like this one here, multi-agents demo, or you can also mention it as some track record or something like that, and then select the sheet and uh, the trigger whenever a new entry is added or updated so by default it will select the row added option but you can also go with any other option which is available here so row added is good to go and then back to canvas and here 
will be the search fields. In order to mention the dedicated search fields, it needs to go through. So here we have three different rows in that first section, right? The campaign name, subject, and the target audience. So it needs to understand the subject context and the target audience, and then search on the really which helps AI agent to get access to internet. And then based on that, it will craft your blog or Twitter or the post on LinkedIn. And here, the limit. It's not mandatory, but it's good to have so that it understands one item to consider at one go, right? For now, I just have one entry over here. But in case if I have multiple entries, then it will start constructing the post for multiple entries at one time and it can be a mess altogether so if you don't want that to be happening you can just select one item at a time and you can provide the option of the last item or the latest entry in the particular sheet that you're working on now proceeding further we have the edit details so here you'll provide the triggers and the text it needs to be looking for and then you will dive into the search internet section this is where you will add the api keys for your tavili so this is my api key right here so by default it will have something like add your api key here and once you're adding your api key here it's all good to go and now back to canvas here we have the split option aggregate and then you have the first ai agent which is your linkedin ai agent and remember the description that I've shown you about the LinkedIn AI agent. You just need to add it over here. And once it all set to go, select your agent to be a conversational AI agent. And then back to the canvas. And here you'll have your next AI agent, which is for Twitter. Remember to add your context or the personality description about your AI agent working on Twitter or X. And then you're good to go. And lastly, you have the blog writer, which is right over here. And same goes or same applies for the blog writer as well. You need to add the personality details here and it should be selected as conversational AI agent and then you're good to go. And this is the same sheet which is right over here. This is where the firstly you'll add the subject over here and then this particular last exit or the end node will populate the remaining D, E and F columns with the outputs from the LinkedIn AI agent. Twitter AI agent and the blogs AI agent. And to work on all these things, you need to have an AI model. For now, we are working with ChatGPT. And to work or to get comfortable with this, you need to have the paid subscription to open AI ChatGPT model and some tokens available for you. Just in case, let's imagine you don't have an subscription to open ai chat gpt and you want to go with some local ai agent or the local llm model like llama 3 or so you can also do that you just need to delete this particular node connected to chat gpt model and in place of that you need to select the llama so for that you need to go here and select the olama chat model and back to canvas we will be doing that further so similarly here olama chat model back here and again the last olama chat model which is right here now one thing that you need to make sure is you need to have olama installed in your local system so for that you just need to go to the command prompt so i'm on the command prompt right now i have the olama installed right here so all you need to do is just run the olama list and here you see llama latest now to run this all you need to do is just uh, olama run llama 3 and once you execute this particular command you should be also doing this task in parallel you need to open the local host and once you open the local host you will be seeing your olama is running perfectly so once you're done with it you need to configure this to the local host olama account and once you're all good you are good to go and save it and execute this and you'll have a similar output right in your output section and with that we have reached the end of this session on the multi-agent system in artificial intelligence should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require any assistance with the resources used in the session like ppt documentation or anything else Please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.